In the last years, many more video games have been adapted into full-blown TV shows and movies. Some have a great job of not only carrying over the story and characters into live action, but also the world they reside in. And most other live actions, well... WHAT THE HELL? Earlier this year, the public saw with The Last of Us TV series what happens when a video game live action gets the care and attention it needs, and produces a TV series which depicts its story in a superb way. The one video game that has had constant chatter of possibly transforming it into a show is the Red Dead Redemption series made by Rockstar Games. The series consisting of two games came out in 2010 and then the second in 2018, which is now closing in on five years of being released. After the long-awaited release of RDR2, it had gamers enveloped in the story of redemption of Arthur Morgan and John Marston. The talk of having a TV show instantly sparked. The question is, should and can Red Dead Redemption have its own show? Red Dead Redemption, for many people including me, is the ideal game. The story clenches you by the heartstrings from the very beginning, letting you get to know the characters and then taking them away from you bit by bit. If you aren't familiar with the story, it takes place during the twilight era of the Old West. We, the player, follow Arthur Morgan, a senior gun in the Vanderlyn gang, who is tasked with providing for the gang and helping it survive. Throughout the story, we find out Arthur has been infected with tuberculosis, a disease which now in present time would be easily curable, but back then would be fatal. We carry on the journey as Arthur slowly withers away while trying to find redemption for what he has done in his life, while trying to protect the people he is closest to. In the end, Arthur passes away giving all he has including his own life to save and protect his adopted brother, John Marston and his family. The story continues with John, who is left on the run and trying to build a new life for him and his family. Many years after he is tracked down by the Pinkerton Detective Agency to hunt down what is left of his gang to save his family who is held ransom. Red Redemption has a story to be an incredible TV show, but can it be made in today's film and TV industry? As seen from previous examples, the industry has done a nasty job when it comes to adapting video games, anime, and everything else into live action. However, this year, specifically, this curse has been lifted, whether you look at video games or anime. What is important for if they do decide to create a live action for Red Dead Redemption is to have the right creative team behind the show, one which not only has played the game, but is as attached to the franchise as the fans themselves. Fans have said that what makes Red Dead Redemption the game franchise it is, is because of the, of the world that it is constructed in. This is completely true. The world that Rockstar Games have constructed is extremely detailed and has unreal depth, which many people believe can't be reconstructed or even replicated in another form, like on TV, as it wouldn't give them the same feeling of exploration as in video games. But I believe as long as the actors and director understand the world that they are trying to build and the job they have at hand, it is possible to not only replicate this world, but to expand the world that was given to us in video game form and bring it to new heights by delving into the history and culture of the world that we have already seen. Another worry of the community is that the extensive story of Red Dead Redemption couldn't be transmitted into a TV show, when in actuality it'd be perfect, with each mission or two fitting into an episode with iconic missions like Blood Feuds Ancient and Modern being whole episodes opening up a season. With each episode lasting from 45 minutes to an hour, it is possible for the writers to fit in extra scenes which could enrich the story. A perfect layout for each season would be 12 to 14 episodes, which isn't irregular at all. Shows like The Sopranos having 13 episodes and Lost having 25 episodes in its first seasons. When it comes to adapting games as big as Red Dead Redemption into live action form, there of course will be the problem of not satisfying the fans. A majority of the time, people tend to hate towards the actors cast in the roles of their favorite characters. In the case of Red Dead Redemption, it is no different. That is why keeping the same cast is in my opinion the only way to keep people satisfied and get the best performance on the screen. Yes, I know, I've heard people say that they're too old or they don't look like their characters, but what is important when having the same character on the screen is to transfer the feeling of that character. That is what the voice actors of Red Dead Redemption do best and can do if they are once again put in the shoes of these characters.
with the right cast and creative team behind a series as such, I can see this now being a thrilling adventure and something millions of people would watch uniting video games and TV shows together. The story of the Vanderlei Gang is a tragic story that has been on my mind all the time for the past five years, which brought me on a roller coaster of emotions and leaving me in tears. By the end, being the only game that has ever done that to me, this story is one m many more people need to experience and a journey which should be brought to the masses and done justice to on the silver screen. With more and more video games getting live action adaptations, I can see why not Red Dead Redemption shouldn't also be one of the front running video games to be expanded into the film and TV industry.